Given a linked list, write a program to determine whether this given linked list has a cycle in it. How can you do that? That's today's video. Let's get into it. Hi everyone, my name is Steve. Today we are going through Libgrid problem 141, linked list cycle. Very simple and straightforward problem, but it's a very classic one. It helps people to better understand how linked list really works. So let's take a look. Given a linked list, determine if it has a cycle in it. For example, we're given this 3, 2, 0, minus 4. Why? It's true because there is a cycle in this given linked list where the tail connects to the second node. You see this tail? Its next pointer is not pointing to a null node, it's pointing to the second node, right? So the output is true. Second example, 1 and 2, position 0. 1, next pointer is pointing to the node with value 2, and 2, this node with value 2 is pointing to the node with value 1. The tail node is pointing to that is pointing to the hat node, so it has a cycle. And the third example is it's given a hat node. That's it. It doesn't have any other node. So there is no cycle in it. That's those examples. Then there is a follow-up here. Could you solve it using O only O1 extra memory? The reason is asking this because a very straightforward or naive brute force solution is that we can simply use a hash table to build this, to traverse through this single linked list and put every single node into this hash table or hash set. Before we put the current linked list node into this hash table or hash set, we'll just check whether this current linked list node already exists in the current hash set or hash table. If it does exist, that means we have already encountered this linked list node already once. Why is that? Because in single linked list, every single node is unique. See, this one is pointing at its next node, which is the node with value 2. And this node is pointing at the node with value 0. When this node, we encountered it once we stored it in the hash set or hash table. Whenever we encounter this value or this value twice, that means and there must be a cycle within this single linked list. Otherwise, if this is a linked list that doesn't have a cycle like this, we'll just go through this and it will reach the tail of the node, which the next node of the tail is going to be now. We'll just break out already. That's the idea of using extra data structures, for example, a hash set or a hash table. How we can utilize that? We'll just store every single linked list node into this hash set to check whether we have encountered this already. Could you solve it using only O1 constant memory? So of course we can do that. Again, we'll use the slow and fast pointer technique. Let's take a look at the slides, how that really works. Suppose we're given this example, one, two, three, four, now. This is a positive example, meaning there's no cycle within this single linked list. So we will just start from the beginning, the hat node, one, two, three, four. So after we reach to the very last node, we know it's a null node, we'll just finish, we'll just get out of the while loop, we just break out and return true, return false, meaning there's no cycle within this given linked list. But for this example, Take a look here, one, two, three, four. Four is connected to the node with value two, meaning there is a cycle within this single linked list. So how can we use the fast and slow technique, fast and slow pointer technique to solve this problem? Let's take a look here. So we'll start, we in, we'll initialize two pointers, fast, F stands for fast, S stands for slow, fast and slow pointers, both starting from the hat node. And then again, fast will move twice the pace as the slow pointer. So when slow moves one step towards the right, fast will move two steps towards the right. Okay, so this is at time zero. At time one, slow will be here, fast will be here, right? And then at time two, slow will be here, fast will be here. So at this point, fast is already reaching the end of the linked list. Then we'll just break out of this while loop. The while loop is used to traverse through the linked list from the hat node until the tail node. When we are able to successfully break out of this while loop, that means there is no cycle because fast node has reached the tail node already and tail node is pointing towards the now. That's for the positive example for the linked list that doesn't have a cycle within it. And then let's take a look at the negative example, which means there is a cycle. So how can we use the two pointer technique? Start from the very beginning time zero. We initialize two pointers, fast and slow. Both of them are starting from the hat node. Then fast node is moving twice the, twice the speed of the slow node. Time one, slow is here, fast is here. Time two, slow is 
So at time one, slow is here, fast is here. At time two, slow will become here, fast will become two steps. One step it moves here, second step, since it's not, this tail node is not connecting to a now node, so it's moving to here, fast node will be here. That's what happened. Time two, slow is here, fast moves here. At time three, what's going to happen? Slow is going to move here and fast, continue to move two steps from here to here and to here. That means slow and fast pointer, they meet again, right? So it's going to happen here. Both fast and slow at time three, they move to this node, right? That means they meet again. That means there is a cycle within this given linked list. Otherwise, fast and slow pointer, they will never meet regardless of the length of the linked list or how how fast the fast node is moving, how many times faster fast node is moving than the slow node. They will always meet. If there is a cycle within this, this linked list, you call it tortoise or hare or whatever, the fast node will always catch up the slow node from behind because there's a cycle in it. Because slow is moving slow, fast is always moving faster. That's how we can use the two-pointer fast and slow two-pointer technique to solve this problem. And this one is using only O1 extra memory. Now let's put this idea into the actual code. Let's take a look. So first we'll use, we'll initialize two nodes. One is slow, copy this. The other one we'll just call it fast. While, we'll have a while loop here. While fast not equals to now and slow. No, fast dot next not equals to now. What we'll do is that slow will move it twice the speed of the, uh, will move fast twice the speed of the slow node. So that means we'll move fast twice. Um, assign the next next node to fast and assign slow dot next to slow. So, but after this, after every single reassigning, we'll check whether slow equals to fast. If slow equals to fast, if these two equal, that means we encountered this case, right? That means slow and fast they meet again. In the beginning, we start from we start from the handle, both slow and fast, and they are equal. But after this, after this reassigning, we'll always have a check whether slow meet slow meets fast again. If that is the case, that means there is a cycle within this given linked list. So we'll just return true. Otherwise, what's going to happen? Otherwise, for the positive case, we take a look here. Fast will always reach the end of the singular linked list first. That means we will break out of this while loop because either this condition or this condition doesn't hold anymore. That's why we'll just break out of this while condition without breaking out from here, from the if branch. In that case, we'll just return false. Return false. That means there is no cycle within this linked list. So it's one single linked list. The tail node is pointing toward a now. That's the entire algorithm. Let's now hit submit and see. All right, accept it. So in this algorithm, we're only using on time complexity because we traverse through the, the this linked list using two using two using two pointer technique. We traverse through this linked list, but you might say that the fast node will traverse this part of this linked list, this cycle part of this linked list multiple times or at least once, but still that's within the magnitude of ON. So the time complexity is still ON. And space complexity, that's drastically improved. Instead of using a hash set or a hash map, it's going to be O1 extra memory, constant extra memory. So that's meeting the problem requirement, which is only use O1 constant memory. I hope this video makes sense and helps people better understand how the two-pointer technique could be applied in a lot of different linked list problems. If you like this video, just do me a favor and hit the like button. That's going to help a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tap the little bell notification. Right now we're going through easy collection of the linked list series. After this, we'll go through tree series and heap or different combinations of data structures. So tap the little bell notification so that each time when I publish a new video, you're not going to miss out on anything. That's it for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one.